let's do something different today sweet potato bread rolls for this I am using 300 grams boiled and mashed sweet potato with 500 grams bread flour and 20 grams sugar 5 grams salt and 10 grams instant dry yeast with 20 grams butter so let's start doing this into a mixing bowl add the bread flour and into that add the sweet potato I didn't say any water because um, sweet potato already contains water if only needed we are going to add the water so add the butter and mix it about a minute or two after add the yeast and the salt with the sugar and mix well now there is not enough water so now we are going to add hot water bit by bit don't add a lot of hot water you have to add a bit first and wait and then add and make a smooth flow not very wet or even not very dry and leave it in a warm place to double in size so the dough is ready for the sweet potato bread and put some flour on the bench take the dough out it's a bit sticky dough so put some flour on top and then punch it down nice and even then cut the dough into equal size pieces now take one part out press down and then roll it inwards like this now take the dough and press down nice and well and again put it inwards like this that makes the bun come up nicely so after that press it but don't press from the palm just it is just rolling in between your palm you are not pressing it well so I have this baking tray so I'm going to put them on the baking tray close to each other so I did the 12 bread rolls I'm going to leave it in a warm place covered with the cloth again about 30 minutes so the bread rolls are ready to go to the oven I'm going to brush the top of the bread rolls with a bit of egg if you like you can sprinkle some sesame or poppy seeds on it and bake this on 200 celsius about 20 minutes to 30 minutes until or until golden brown on top the bread rolls are ready and they are nice yellowish golden brown because the sweet potatoes gives that nice color and i just took it out from the oven if i take one to show you how nice and soft they are they are really nice and spongy buns that you can serve with dinner or even as breakfast and to get the recipe and the tips and more pictures visit culinarycornerskitchen.com and thank you for watching